This week on the 100K pod, as always, we try and turn 10 bucks into 100 grand, but Jeff, we're absolute dog's ass. We feel horrible. We recorded the whole Sunday roast on the drive home and lost the audio, so we review Gather Round on this pod. You're going to want to listen to it. We were up to absolutely everything this week, and Jeff, of course, we go through this week's 100K multi. It's unbelievable. This is our best pod yet. Make sure you listen. No segments. Bash. Welcome back to the show that's absolutely dog's ass. Welcome back to the show that's being fueled by chicken salad sandwiches. Welcome back to the show that wants to be buried on the Adelaide Hill. The show that's turned over every single rock imaginable in the city of churches. Welcome back to the show that's just awesome. Welcome back to the 100k footy show where every single week we try and turn 10 bucks into 100k punting on the footy. Bash. Jeb, good to be back. And it's good to be back, Tubby Mark Taylor. <laughs> oh, I'm fucking bugger, duh. <laughs> what a weekend. I'm just going to go with an oldie bit of goodie. What's the difference between a chickpea and a lintel? Oh, what's that, Jeb? <laughs> I've never had a lintel on my face. <laughs> Oh, Lewis, how That's are you, awesome. brother? <laughs> I am Ripper. I, the fact that it's already time to record the pod is just hilarious. Uh, the nine hours home yesterday was was up there in terms of worst drives. That would that have to be number one. But hey, what? nine. It was like I we must be dumb or something. It took us like eleven. Yeah, I don't know. We <laughs> we went via Hobart or something. But yeah, I mean, did we go backwards or something? We earned it. So I mean, we we, we had our fun, us, and I think everyone knows that we had our fun and we earned. Uh, Whatever we deserved yesterday, we, we got it. <laughs> we got it. We'll, we'll touch into it in a minute. But let's just touch over last week's multi. Touching. 19 out of 29 legs and a void. So, good legs, Jav. What did we have? Good legs. Nick Blakey, 15. Swans win. Two ticks. Jeremy Cameron for two. Nass Wanganee Malira for 20. Ginevan for two, my favourite leg of the weekend. Dacos, 25. Jai Newcomb for 20. Were some of my good legs, Lou? Yeah, I had Tommy Stewart for 20. That hit, we uh, we saw that. We, we were there. <laughs> we, we didn't see it much. but we but uh, Rojas, wasn't Rojas Lively yeah. for two? Kick two. Yeah, it was awesome. We were there at Mount Barker, and to be able to say that was great. Cogs had his 25, no doubt about that. Uh, Joshy Dacos, we went off his uh, F1 form and <laughs> followed him to Adelaide. So take F1 form to gather yes. and remember that for next year. He had 30 after, after having for 20 and then Pendlebury for 20 got voided with six but I think he was on his way for 20 so. yeah that's probably really definitely weird. kicked a nice snag yeah. uh, Charlie Kerno for two kick three he was unbelievable he was right? in that last camp. Bond for 25 we were there but we weren't Ralph for 20 Whitfield for 25 Cadman for one Cheerios Cadman that is and Hogan for two he was massive yeah, he was yeah. great uh, some bad legs boys or as we like to call them stiff legs yep. Tom Green 30 only had the 23 I finally went to go and watch the Brownlow medals in yep. person only had 23 Anderson, 25. No, that was a tick, wasn't it? Yeah, that hit. Yeah, that was that a good hit. leg. Yeah, no, Anderson, 25. Binger, anytime. Brent Daniels was probably our, really only our one bag leg in the multi. See, I, but he would have we'll, kicked we'll it. We'll talk about it more, but the best goal assist probably I've ever seen yeah. live. So yeah. that's a tick in my eyes. And Shy Bolton, 20. He kicked four, but only had 18 on that crappy shoebox Norwood. Yeah, so yeah, it's Norwood. 18 touch, but four snags. That was a big form. So they're not bad legs. It You're bad legs. It should be said because you guys recorded the Sunday roast in the car yesterday, but it was just a doggy's breakfast and you couldn't hear it. But you said, remember next next year when we're betting for Norwood, Yeah, contested mids is all. Is it? No, no pockets. No yeah. goals. It's a highway. It's just a straight highway. It's a shoebox. Uh, yep. My stiff legs, I had Harry Mackay for two, which I was just shattered about. I forgot <laughs> I had it. Um, the Mansell piece, Ryan Mansell, looks so lively for a month, but I think he's put on the back. That was an old Oval's fault. Correct. And same thing again, Nick Vlosten. It's too yeah. skinny for Vlosten yeah. to have 20. <laughs> I so, thought that yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> I had Bobby Hill on the two, two goals on the hill. <laughs> <laughs> Warble for 25 and they had 20. Max King for two, didn't get there. And... Was Hawkins a void? <laughs> I didn't, I, Not technically, but... I honestly didn't see him. He's huge. Yeah, he's enormous. Yeah. <laughs> was he playing? I'm not sure. I don't so think anyone those, played. Those are my legs. All right, so we're going to get into it, Jeff. I've got a little bit of a run sheet. Yeah, well, we, we're we just going to gonna dissect, because we don't have many segments on today, because yeah. it's really crept up I'm on us. Cheeks. So we're just going to talk you through our weekend. Thursday morning, we left at 4 o'clock. 
So we get up there, and we, then we go over Palmer, the Bay Juice boys. We see them. Yeah, what was that pub called? Uh, the, the Austral. Austral. That is an unbelievable chicken parmigiana, <laughs> which we'll touch on a little bit later. They got us tickets to the game, so we actually didn't have tickets. Uh, we had a, a multi approved by Joey Montagna, yeah, he which loved was it. great. Melbourne just gave him the business. We absolutely rinsed Jeff, and then we got into an after party. Talk us through it. Who was there? Should we have actually been there? If you want to say three blokes that shouldn't be in an after party, it's us three when Chris Judd, Sam Pang, Jonathan Brown, Bill Brownless, Dane Swan, Bernie Vince, Will Schofield, Dan Gorringe, Dill Buckley, Stiffy John Cock, mm. Mitch Cleary, who else? Everyone. <laughs> we're in an after party and we were there. It was just a who's who of who's that. <laughs> yeah. It was unbelievable. We stood out like sore thumbs. <laughs> so we ended up leaving there. We were absolutely quinced. Yeah. A couple of chicken salad sandwiches. Of course. Uh, got to a couple of bakeries in Adelaide, which we'll touch on later on. <laughs> also known as KFC. Uh, Friday morning, we were filming shit. Jev was walking around like Matt Rowell, and they say never meet your heroes. I've never seen Jev shirk it more in my life. He finally gets a chance to meet his idol. So we've got Taylor Adams and Heaney walking past. Jev, talk us through it. Fuck's sake. I'm dressed as Matt Rao, and this old bloke comes up to me to shake my hand because he thinks I'm Matt Rao. Isaac Heaney and Taylor Adams are walking past. Dask goes, Isaac, come over here. I'm like, no, I don't want to meet him right now. Fuck, the brown line medalist. Anyway, so I just shirk it because I want to meet him when I'm not dressed as fucking Matt Rao. You'll see our game day Matt Rao vlog. But fuck! I just so. the most underratedly funny thing about that is why would Matt Rowe be wearing <laughs> full footy kit in Rundle Mall? Isaac he looked at us like idiots, idiots, and then Taylor Adams even more. Yes. Yeah, yes. they were just like, "What are you?" So are you after we went through there, we went to the deli. We saw Eddie Ford Morks, and we yeah. had <laughs> what was one of the best sandwiches that we've ever had. Oh, if we we got so lucky. Jeff and I thought, "What a good idea would be to go down to Adelaide Central, LA Central Market, I think yeah, it's called, and just awesome. sort of hope to get." You know, you see a lot of these Instagram accounts. They do like a street talk where they. You know, just chat to randoms. And I was want to go past an ice cream shop, Jeff, and just happen to stumble across <laughs> old mutton chops. Also in his full blanket. Full yeah, full blanket, ready to go to Norwood with two chops strapped <laughs> to his head. Just if you haven't seen that content, go to our Instagram because we just got to get that lucky on a street tour. Oh, it's just was awesome. great. He's a really good guy. What, what we did, we should touch on, because I reckon we're going to naturally say it on this show, but we've brought back awesome all of a sudden. Yeah, <laughs> awesome's <laughs> back. I mean, it's a great word to describe something, because if we, if we keep saying awesome, that's, I don't know what's So we filmed there. a heap of stuff, and we probably didn't, we're not using most <laughs> a of it. A lot of it won't go to Because it's not that good. So then we had, we're doing a podcast with the Honest Beers boys oh, yeah, yeah. over the other side of Adelaide. So halftime at Brisbane, North Melbourne. They'd set up a little podcast area. Dan Gorringe was on before us, so there was a bit of a crowd. And like, he's a name. Like, yeah. He's a name. We're not. He's definitely a name. All right, guys, thanks for all coming out like it was a ticketed event. It was like picture being at the SB and you and your mates have gone to watch the footy <laughs> and then just three random blokes just grabbed speakers and said, right, guys, if we get a bit of hush. And that's how. It, that's what it was like. It wasn't recorded. It was just live. We got cut, we cut ourselves, to be fair. They said we had 30 minutes. We said, look, let's just get a multi up. And Dan Gorringe deserved his yeah. 10 to 12 minutes. And he was funny. Morgs didn't get a word in. No. <laughs> you did not say I didn't want a we word. We sat down. We just got nothing in. <laughs> so I, I just said I like Lang Jesus for two. <laughs> That's fair. Which is funny. So yeah. then after that, we decided we got tickets to Essendon and Port Adelaide. Yep. So we went home quickly, got changed, came back to the game. We saw probably performance of the round, Jev. Yeah. And Essendon absolutely stink. <laughs> Essendon embarrass themselves. <laughs> yes, they fucking did. embarrass themselves. <laughs> right in front of me. <laughs> it was embarrassing. <laughs> The fucking 7,000 days since last winter final is over. They won the final for most embarrassing yourselves at Gather Round. It was fucked. Now, I do want to touch on, we may have a new business model, model now as well. So we had a guy come up to us. He's like, is that Jevy? My mate fucking hates you. He's like, you always rip the bombers. He's like, can you just film something for us? So we posted out. We thought, could this be a potential business idea? So let us know in the comments if you want. We're going to set up a cameo. Ten dollars yeah, a video. Yeah, ten bucks max. So ten, ten, yeah. Like five. Wait, yeah, so, yeah. You can get Jev to roast your best mate's favourite side. He'll run through them, give us gear on him, and Jev will just roast them oh. every single week. I did two on the hill. Once I a Carlton supporter and his mate was an Essen supporter. I just ripped Essendon to shreds. It's hilarious. And then another who'd the other guy go for, but I ripped Richmond as well. Yeah. Mm. Like, and they I, sent it to the mates and just got back. I hate that guy. So <laughs> yeah, I'm now most hated in Adelaide. So after that, 
we went out to the cast with Wally. Yep. He thought it'd be a good idea. Called us in on the live pod. <laughs> Boys, we're all going to put in 200 bucks each. And we're going to run through the tables. How'd we go? Well, they ran through us. I mean. <laughs> yeah, they got us. We were just, just. Just. So <laughs> we got to the end. We had some guy. What was his name? I can't remember anyway, he, name, ben, Benson. Benson. Benson ran through us. And then we had a lady <laughs> called Amy. And I just asked for pocket. King's Susan. Give me King Susan. <laughs> Susan. No, we didn't get but she didn't. So that was the end of that. And then we thought we'd have a bit of an early one. It was about 1.30 just because the next morning we had an interview with Bucks Browning at Lynchy. So we get up the next morning. We go down there. We get to have a chat to them. They were actually they really were, good with their time. They were unbelievable. Brownie was probably the most – like he was just happy to talk yep. as, as much as possible. He probably enjoys like the betting sort of side things. a bit. Like Bucks, you could tell – I think you said – you could tell he – well, when you, yeah, when you, it's actually, I wish that was us, but when you play 20 years of footy, then you're a coach. So you've been in footy for 30 years. Bucks never became a punter. Mm. And now he's just, he doesn't punt on footy, just watches it, which is a, probably a better way to be than us. Bucks was so nice to me. Yeah. yeah. So good. nice. He yeah. was so, yeah. such a cool interview. So yeah. that'll come out this week. So we got up early. That was 8.30 interviews. We quickly get changed. And then we're off to Mount Barker to go see Sydney and West Coast, which was great ground. Which was never in doubt. It's a great ground. Oh, yeah. Awesome. We had Nan Super on it. So Jev, we kept him there. As we just watched Harley Reid just dominate the first half. We saw his said, first goal, the double Cobra. Was awesome. Right was in so front good. of us, like yeah. 10 metres away. He looked like he was looking directly at us when he grabbed his jumper. Cool as. We had how we had that many DMs at halftime <laughs> ripping me because the Swans were down to West Coast. Saying we've lost Nan Super and stuff. Never a doubt. People want my honest, like people just saying, what is Jeb's honest assessment on the Swans, Swans West Coast yep. game? Which yep. is... Let's name the teams with more wins than the Swans oh. after after four rounds. No, you start. Four, oh, no, round. All right, you ready? Yep. None. Oh. We're on four wins with the rest of the comp. You just got to win football games. They're still AFL players. I know Jack Darling's out there, but they're still AFL players. Harley Reid was great. The size of Jeremy McGovern and Tom Barras is underrated. My God, Barras is huge. Barras is huge. Oh. Um, nah, we just win, handle business. Errol was great. Isaac Heaney probably gets another three Brownlow votes. Yeah, what's he on? 12 votes, yeah. Probably 13, mm. yeah. I reckon he gets one against Richmond. He was bloody good. Oh, uh, maybe. He's on 12. Mm. Yeah, he He's on fire. It was oh, we only saw a half dance, yeah. but it was yeah. So we move through. So then me and you drive back. We go to Carlton Frio. It's a bit of a dog's breakfast game. There it were was. these guys next to us. Same old Carlton. We had to bite our lip, and as soon as Cottrell kicked that goal, oh. same old Dockers. So that was funny. So then we did that. Ran into Will Schofield. We saw him the other night. Had a good chat to him, and then we hung around after the Carlton Frio game. It was so much fun. We had an hour before the Cats and Dogs game. This is not even an understatement. We were there for the entire game and I genuinely do not remember one thing. As we said, the lights were on, but nobody was home. We can't tell you one thing that happened in Dogs Cats. Or oh, I just know the um, Riley Sanders, was it? The rep went the other wrong way. way. That's, that's all I remember. I remember Liver's goal. But I remember just how much fun it was. Like, I. We should, because we've said it a few times now, we should stress how unbelievable it is to be at an AFL game, especially on the hill, to watch a game of footy, have a couple of beers, then just wait around for half an hour and everyone's just happy to be there yeah. and then another game of footy comes yeah. out. There's just nothing like it. It's, so once we it is the best thing <laughs> on just, earth. Everyone's, and everyone says about gather around, you're like you hear all these media personalities, like, yeah, I hope we're the same and we're getting, you're getting the picture from us. That is just, mu it is must, must go. go. It was so much fun. So then we end up going out with Will and there is nothing better than a key apart from a premiership medallion around your neck. He's <laughs> yes. like, don't worry, boys, we'll get you in. The line would have been 50 metres <laughs> around the corner for these two places. Walks in, no, uh, they're with us. So we go straight in. Unbelievable. <laughs> King service. Adelaide. Saw Zach Butters. Zach, Zach Butters. He thought he was looking into a mirror. <laughs> yeah. He couldn't believe. He's like, hang on a minute. That's dope. <laughs> Had a chat to him. Loves my take on him. I think he's the best player at Port Adelaide. Once we finished <laughs> that, we went to the Cumbie. Just, just quickly, Zach Butters. 23-year-old, best player in the state, single, probably in about a mil a year. Mm. You reckon he was struggling at the Cumbie? Dude, just, dude, just fine. Oh, God. Just fine. It was fucked. So then we had a we had a nice, good finish on that one. We get up <laughs> Sunday morning, back to Barker for back to Mount Barker. Giants Gold Coast, which was a fun game. It was a fun game. We were, weren't at the scoring end. We were at the, what's it, the, the right-hand side of the TV camera end. Mm. But yeah, all the scoring was at the other end. But... We have to talk about, I don't know if you've got more to talk about, but the Brett Daniels to Toby Green goal. To, to kick, Toby's fifth. Toby's fifth. Jeb, you were hot on the Instagram. What did you have? Three, four, and five. And six. And Never six, got six you got yeah. there. But that was just awesome. 
Yeah, that was so great. It was a great game. And then we – do you have anything else to that game? No. Jed Walters looked massive. Jed How Walter, big is Jed Walters? Oh, he's big. Oh, what does he eat? No, you sport? do have a take for – Toby? No, nah, to the 2028 take. Oh, that I think Gold Coast is going to win a flag by 2028. Jed Walter will win the Norm Smith medal in 2028. Yeah. There's All a right. take. There's, There's a, a take. take. And the Coleman. Oh, and the Coleman. So he is awesome. So <laughs> like, let's just wrap this last little bit up. So Please. we're driving back the next day. So we're like, all right, we'll go back. We got to Adelaide Oval to 440 start, Pies Hawks. And in our head, we're just like, look, the game will probably finish by eight. We might have another beer or two. Get to Jet maybe. And then we're driving home the next day. We've got nine hours. So we go to the game. It's an unbelievable game. Big final. John Dunstall was yeah. – Jason Dunstall was Blake playing. Dunstall. Blake Hardwick. Yeah. Great comeback game. It was good. Ginevan, all that. We decided to go back to the Cass, the wool shed. Then we're home by 4 a.m. And then who's driving home? And then you two had to carry the team all day yesterday. We leave at about 11.30, which I thought it was like – Way earlier than that. We got home at 10. Oh, 10 p.m. last night. I got Yesterday home. was by far the worst day I think I've ever had in my life. It was the longest drive yeah, home in history. There. As I said, what, you know, you, you earn it. Good and bad days. Yeah. We had a lot of goods. We earned it bad. Here we are. So that was Back our, on the pod. That was our trip in a nutshell. Radio Jev, give us the gather round Brownlow multi. This is a new no, segment. No, the Brownlow votes. The votes. The votes. Whatever. The vo- yeah, I'm giving out. So he, you know, Brownlow votes three, two, one. I'm giving out our what we saw our Brownlow votes. Yeah. One vote, Harley Reid. Yes, yeah, he was fucking right. awesome. Yeah. Kicked a goal, grabbed the jumper right in front of us. Yeah. Hit like nine blokes late, like downfield. Oh. For He's getting suspended. Held his own against a team playing in a prelim final. Leads the league in broken tackles in four career games. Like it was so good to yeah. see what all the hype was about right in front of us. That was awesome. Two votes, Connor Rosie. That first half stands out in my mind like dog's balls. Three snags and 20 touches at halftime, 16 more touches after halftime, and just a dominant win. He was just unbelievable. That that was wild. And three votes, the 100K podcast. (laughs) Thursday night in the hill, a thumbs up from Joey Montagna, an after party with Chris Judd, Sam Pang, and Stevie Johncock, a wrestle with Dill Buckley, a zinger from KFC, a live show with Dan Corringer and Honest Beers, Back to the Hill Friday for more Imperials. Connor Rosie's performance. The Cast with Australia's best gambler, Wally. A zinger from KFC. Up early for interviews with Alistair Lynch, Nathan Buckley, Jonathan Brown. Out to Mark Barker over to watch Isaac Henry, Errol Good, and Harley Reid. Back to the Hill to see the bags win. Stayed at the Hill and suck more Imperials with Will Schofield. Bash. Watch Jez Bont and Libba. A thumbs up from Pav. Over to the Cumbie with Zach Butters. More beers with Will Schofield. Bash. A zinger from KFC. Up again. Head back to Mount Barker to watch Tom Green. Toby Green snag of the weekend. The size of Jed Walter Avoided that shoe box in someone's backyard yes, Norwood really. Oval Back to the hill to watch Jack Ginevan More Imperials yes. The reincarnation of John Des- Jason Dunstall in the second half with Blake Hardwick Bash. More beers with the Honest Piers boys Back to the cast with Australia's greatest gambler Got Dusty and the Tigers boys into a nightclub One pint of beer for every quarter of footy played And then the same amount in vodka after hours One more zinger Your three Baron Low votes The 100k Sports Podcast Bash. <laughs> That was great, Jeff. hell of an effort I genuinely I was like Who's beating Rosie? Because he was great We had a month Like it was, For anyone That is listening to this episode you ha- it's like better than footy trip. It's, yeah, it's it is the best weekend on the calendar. It's a it and, is and a must. Yeah, there is nothing better than watching footy on the hill. That is and just the epitome. The of number one thing, like the, the whole weekend. Yep. All right, and drinking Imperials. Fuck, they are the best. All right, let's go. So this is our hundred k multi. We've already rigged this up together. A lot of what you're going to hear is shit that we saw with our eyes. Yeah, yep. the proof is in the pudding. Proof is in the pudding. Here we go. Giants, Saints, Jev. Motherfucking Brownlow medalist. Just give me Tom Green for 25 at a dollar yep. fourteen. Watched him in the flesh up close and personal on the weekend, and it was an absolute pleasure to watch. But he only had 23 going head to head with Matt Rao. Yep. Matt Rao did have some good preparation he though. He did. He did prepare well. True, true. Um, it was his first game under 30 for the season, but he absolutely loves playing the Saints, boys. 29 touches round 10 last year, 35 in that elimination oh, final yeah. of the G. Wow. This is in Canberra, where wow. he's from. He had 38 in Canberra oh, it's a last Tom year. Tom Green 10, isn't it? The Tom Green 10. He'll be back to his Brownlow best this yep. week. Give me Tom Green, the motherfucking Brownlow medalist. Who we got a DM from on the weekend, actually? We did. We did we- get a DM from on the weekend. Twenty-five to dollar fourteen, Lou. Big final. Um, yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> give me <laughs> no surprise, Darz. Stephen Hinnickley. I don't even need to say. It. 
<laughs> Can you go? 25 plus, $1.24, the 30 year old for Jundalup. Uh, Jeff in WA stat made as the implied odds on this for a dollar oh one. So you were getting a dollar oh one for a bet that we're actually getting a dollar twenty four. So that's got to tell you a story. Uh, he's one hundred percent on his last five. We saw it in the flesh against the Suns. He was best on all three of them. Eight Whitfield Green. Green was a little bit down, but Cogs. But Cogs ate instead. Yeah, and then I mean. We know what Toby did, but it's just too good of a leg. Dollar twenty four. I know it's the first game, but I think against this Saints midfield, this is easy work. I love it. I know everyone talks about the the Port Adelaide tree on stuff. Did GWS have the best midfield in the comp? Yeah, they could. watching um like Cali, Whitfield, yep. Canelio, Green, all of them in the flesh. Were they were just awesome? They were awesome. <laughs> all right, boys, give me give me Hogan for two at a dollar thirty three. This yes. bloke is bigger than breakfast. <laughs> That's how big this bloke is. He kicked sixteen goals this season and doesn't look like slowing down. Has kicked two goals in each of his last two games against the Saints, and that's about it. I don't no, think he's so no, like, good like, he looks like to be on another level. Like I know he, he kicked, so a, I know he kicked a lot of goals, but he would have had like eight to nine shots and gave a heap off. Yeah, like, as well, not a knock, but like he had a couple like bad ball drops where yeah. he kicked, but like he could have kicked six. Yeah, he, easy. So, so yeah, I think that sorted. A dollar thirty three for a two goals and the way that it's he's a going. Lock. Yeah, it's I a lock. Awesome. Any other leagues? Yeah, give me Aaron Cadman any time in a dollar twenty seven. The Cheerio kid. He is starting season with one, three, two, and two. Yeah. The only thing this bloke likes more than kicking a snag is a bowl of Cheerios. Yeah, it's yeah. fact. He'll kick one. Yeah, they are nice. Cadman. We go under the radar, Cheerios. Uh, any other little <laughs> nothing little? else for me? Nah, nothing else for me. Next game, big final: Carlton versus Adelaide under the under the roof the in igloo. a loud house. The igloo. Yeah, fuck. This place is the igloo. This. Do you still have a window open? <laughs> it's it's so cold in here. <laughs> Jeff, anything for us? Yeah, give me Carlton head to head at a yes. dollar twenty-seven. There's two reasons for this one. What's this? Adelaide stink. Yep. I called this before the season. Their cheeks, way too happy with themselves. <laughs> they are lucky. The Crows are the number one lucky team. I don't do a reverse pyramid. Because yep. I saw some cheeks efforts on the yes. weekend. If I did them in Essendon, you'd have them in a double headlock. Oh, don't get me started. If I did a reverse pyramid, I know the fans want it, but I can't do it. Just message me some players and I'll give them to you. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Reason two that I like the Blues, nobody, and I mean nobody, gets kissed on the dick more than the Carlton fucking Blues. The umpires just kiss dick. So the baggers, the baggers will not lose in the loud house, in the igloo. They'll just beat the crom and th- we keep rolling with it. Carlton head to head, $1.27, twenty seven Lou. Dollar twenty seven is too good. And I reckon we've Sam Walsh plays. We probably need a few more results. What what we have we had a couple of good Swans. result wins on the weekend. Yeah, so on Dollar Cats, two, Blues. Two, blues. Two, yeah, there's some good bets. Not there. Like I honestly GWS. I honestly think we would have gone nine from nine. We would have yeah. gone close. Yeah. You would have taken Melbourne? Yep. We would have taken Port. Yep. You would have taken was uh, Brisbane. Like? Brisbane. Swans. Carlton. You probably would have taken Richmond. Nah, no. no, we would have taken Saints. No, would have taken Saints. Saints, oh, yeah. GWS. And then who's last? Colin. We would have taken Colin. There's nine. <laughs> we nine honestly would have gone nine, nine for nine. nine. We just got to work out what nine for nine was. Dollar twenty seven is too good. Give me, I'm so happy with this league. The, the man that we're now, now calling Fock. Father of Cody, of course. Coda, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Paddy Quips. Quipsy. Captain Courageous, Patrick Cripps. Doby kicked an awesome snag. Right, awesome. Right in front of me. I him. called Daddy. Right, right in front of me on the hill. Daddy. It, he loves the loud house. It gets bloody cold in that igloo. <laughs> he's kicked a goal every time we've played at Marvel this year. So that's the form that we've gone off. We've only played one game, but he's kicked it. Dollar eighty nine is an awesome odd. Fantastic. Is it Fock? Father of Cody? Coda. Yeah. Coda. Coda. Okay. Fox all right. Oh, fuck. Big fuck. Fuck. Meet the fuckers. Fuck. <laughs> if he gets them on, you just go, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, I've had a look at the stats. Charlie Kerno for three goals at a dollar sixty-four. I could tell you that he's kicked 13 goals this season and second in the Coleman. I could tell you that he's kicked 20 goals in his last five games at Marvel, but that's not why he's in the multi. This is a pure matchup point. Yep. Because he will be playing on Mitch Hinge, who's still pissed <laughs> from the casino last week. Finger and butt. I saw him <laughs> absolutely sideways. You call me the hammerhead shark. <laughs> His eyes were out this way. I told him that he was my dark horse All-Australian. He looked more surprised than what I did. <laughs> like, you think he was surprised? This is unbelievable. Mitch Hinge has to front up. No way, Malira. <laughs> Who the hell's going to stop Charlie from kicking three? He would have a bigger hangover than us, Mitch Hinge. Is Hinge in the current 44? <laughs> Probably not. So that's the form I'm going off. That's great. Anything else? No, nah, nothing for me. Nothing. Nah, that's all I need. Bash. <laughs> all right, here we go. Port Adelaide versus Frio. Fuck, Port looked good. 
at Adelaide. No good. They did. Dars. Give me Darcy Burn Jones any time at a dollar thirty six. You called it. This leg is more consistent than the runs after KFC. Oh. It's hit, it hit four <laughs> from drinking gravy. <laughs> It's hit four out of four times this year. Exactly like KFC hit the next day. Four out of four nights at Catamount. <laughs> Chicken salad <laughs> sandwiches. <laughs> oh, he started his season so well with three, two, three, and one. Darcy Byrne Jones is more guaranteed than the runs after KFC. Like four from four this weekend. Uh, four from four for the season. Give me Darcy Byrne Jones a loop. Imagine KFC's little form line on sports bet. <laughs> Just hit, hit, hit. Uh, bit of a coming out party on Friday night, Darcy. I reckon we were there. We, I saw it right in front of me for Jason Horn Francis. He had 31 disposals. I think that's probably got to be close to the first time he's had 30. If not, it was the yeah. first time he's had so 30. I, no, but there was a lot of talk, lot of talk around the Bombers. You heard about Kingy last last week. He said the Bombers midfield, how they just bash you like Carlton did last year. But they did no bashing on the they weekend. They looked soft. No bashing. So oh, the, I would hate to be a Bomber supporter. Oh. So this is probably not on form. But uh, as we always talk about, you need a couple of those dollar eighty, ninety, two dollars legs. Like we've had Tommy Stewart for 25. We had 24 like two weeks ago. So $2.00. 12 for 25. Coming off 31, can he get it done against Freo? I think he can. Freo play that contested style. That that midfield for Port Adelaide looked like the perfect midfield yep. on the weekend. Yes. Jason Orn Francis in tight breaking tackles. Connor Rosie outside, classy finishing. Mm. And then Zach Butters is the perfect mix of yep. inside, outside. That's a perfect three you can put 100%. together. And they both can play in, in and out. Yeah, you go with your Freo take. No, I just I was just gonna harp it on the fact that yeah, we looked at their disposal getters. They were all they had all the disposals dust because yeah. they play that just that contested, yeah. slow, not scoring ball, and I think that suits Big Horn. Perfect, perfect. I'm sold, boys. Score I'll be it. taking my man. So I did mention, thought he was looking in the mirror. Zach Butters for 25 touches, the most handsome man in Adelaide. This is a dollar 28, and like I can realize some things which I'm about to, but he's at 100 percent in his last 10 games. Jeez. Last year against Freo, he had 31, and he hasn't gone under 25 in his last eight games at Adelaide Oval. He's so good. <laughs> Tick. It's a dollar 28, boys. Awesome. Unbelievable. Anything else? Nah. Anything else? Nah, mate. Welcome <laughs> back to the Greek Pizza Par. Oh, I do have another leg. <laughs> no, I'll, 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 Mitch Georgiades for one. He was yeah. paying two thirty for two, yes. which he should have gobbled up. Yeah. We didn't, but for one's a dollar thirty three for the Greek pizza with everything. He's an absolute unbelievable talent. Bash. I got Connor Rosie anytime at a dollar forty seven. Yeah, I forgot performance of the weekend yep. to gather around yep. thirty six and three was fucking awesome. Back on Adelaide Oval, he'll kick a snag against the Dockers. I love that. Anything else? No, mate. All right, so we're halfway through the game. I've actually got a little segment for us. Yes. Got a little segment from the week on. It's called Eat One, Drink One, Ditch One. So we're going to start off. Eat One, what was the best thing that you ate all weekend? The Palmer at the Austral. The um, salty noodles, Morgs made. Yeah. That was so salty. <laughs> can I say the Zinger Crunch is... No, the Zinger... Just one of the Zingers any night was the best thing yeah, I ate. The Zinger Crunch is one of the most underrated burgers in fast food. It's chicken salad sandwiches. Cool. I went for the Palmer as well. Favourite drink for the weekend? Go. Can be anything. The Scotch and Sodas. They the were Wally fucking was, was the worst drink I've ever had in my life. The Scotch and Sodas for me with the dash of lime. Imperials on the hill were oh, the best yeah, drink you can drink. I had four, yeah, the four X Imperials <laughs> with an absolute nectar. And if you had to ditch one thing from the weekend, one bit of food or anything, what trip are you? Home. Dit- what are you ditching from the weekend? The trip home. No, but the, the, like you consume <laughs> and. Can you give me your answer and I'll give you mine? Oh, I said the horse and pie on the way up from oh. Wax was absolute dog's ass. Yeah, or we, don't do the small business. Don't do, no, don't don't do, do wax. wax. What did wax do to you? <laughs> they were shit. Oh, it was, yeah. They weren't good. What else was cheeks? The pie, the pie on the way home was cheeks as well. Yeah. It doesn't need to be. She named. sourced it for you. Poke I don't mind the self. Poke bowls are awesome. The sausage and bread at uh, Mount Barker. Oh, Red. they were oh, tremendous. Three dollars fifty snack and bread. That actually needs to be a thing. Get a local like Bunnings. Get a local footy club at every game at the G. There's your fundraiser. <laughs> We'll start. Yes, we'll, we'll go start. this week. We can just cook snag that front. I'll do it. Come All right, on. let's get on to the next game. That was a hell of a segment. All right, here we go. Gold Coast, <laughs> Coast Hawthorne. <laughs> Bash, Jeff. Noah Anson, twenty five at a dollar forty eight. I know it's Tuesday night, but a dollar forty eight. Statmate has yeah. this leg implied at a dollar one. Yeah, I don't. That's wild. It's mm. hit five in a row. Why? He's had thirty five and twenty five in his two home games this year. Crazy. This hits. That's awesome. 
No one is in 25. I saw it in my own eyes, Jeff. Lewis. Who do you like? Uh, his dad, big Mount Barker man. <laughs> Barker Anderson. Uh, Jason Dizzy Gillespie does for two. Ben King. I loved what I saw. I yeah. did. I only probably saw it for a half, but we value Sam Taylor so highly here at the 100 How big was he? And Ben King, I reckon he, he wasn't, I wouldn't say he was awesome, but he showed he's ready to rip this competition into shreds, I reckon. Like, got with Jed Walter, he's going to have some focus coming off of him. That has to be said. He's going to kick more goals the better Jed Walter gets. What about the size of Jed? Oh, Jesus. So, yeah, just two. two. I reckon you'll get a hold of Hawthorne. Big Sammy Frost. $1.26. I, I like what I saw in Ben King, and I'm betting accordingly. Fuck. Jed Walter, how big is he? I can't oh. believe he didn't make the multi. Yeah, well, I, I thought about it. But Squad a hole. One for one. Village. Um, give me Took Miller for twenty five and dollar thirty seven. This man loves playing at home. He hasn't gone under his last five. That's all I gotta say. Yeah, it's great. He loves running. It's against the Hawks. Everyone gets a lick of the ice cream when you versus the Hawks midfield. Everyone gets a touch. Both sides. That's it. Anything else? Jack Ginevan two. Yep. Yes. At two dollars sixty. This was my favorite leg of the weekend last yep. weekend. I feel like I had the script. Yeah, you, yeah. When I was talking on the pod, I was like, I had the script. He was 100% getting a head high free kick for a goal, and he buried his chances. Yep. He finished him. I love this bloke. I reckon he can seriously play and seriously finish. Yep. When he gets his chance, he finishes. He'll kick two, $2.60. This will be the last week we get anything that starts with a two. For sure. That's a great <laughs> call. Yeah, I got, I got nothing, but I did just want to quickly touch on Malcolm Rojas Jr. <laughs> he was so lively. Do and we not have Rojas? No, nah, because he's coming to a dollar oh eight anytime. He should. Like you think about some of the caliber of forwards that are under a dollar ten kick a snag on sports. Yeah. Head. So they're they're either watching or listening. <laughs> yeah. And credit to them, they should be. It shouldn't be any higher than dollar ten. Dollars. Fantastic. Anything else? No, no legs. Jeez, that's a good start, boys. All right, <laughs> Cats versus North. <sighs> when you. Thinking about putting in a multi here, guys, North are averaging like 22 goals against them a game. So prepare to eat, boys. Jeff, who yeah. do we have? I personally think we don't have enough legs in this game. Yeah, I know. Really? But we'll give the legs we got. Yeah, please. Because they're great. Ugh. Jeremy Cameron for three yeah, at a dollar seventy-five. This was the fucking game. The lights were on, but nobody was home. So then the next day we go have a look at the stats and watch a few highlights. He kicked two goals for 27 touches, eight marks, 12 score involvements, and 650 meters gained and single-handedly beat the dogs. It's unbelievable. David King couldn't believe it. He's like, he just went to the wing and dominated. He was exquisite. Exquisite. <laughs> That's a great one. And play. against North, this screams a bag of 10. He could go absolutely berserk. This could get ugly. Jez Cameron, $3.75. That's so good. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sort of piggybacking off you, Jeff. I listened to Kingy as well, and he was talking about Grian Myers, the one-two yeah. punch. So Grian Myers didn't kick a snag, but he had 22 disposals, 18 kicks, and then he was just awesome. I saw it from <laughs> my the yeah. own eyes. I was there, but I've gone with the snags. As you said, Dars, we're sort of betting against the team. You're saying 21 goals. Let's say 20 goals. You've got three, three. I've got 14 to play with. Yeah, you So do. give me Grian Myers. 22 disposals last week. You'll have another 20. 21 club. Welcome, Grian. Yeah, yeah, Called it. It's great. All right, boys. Three things that are certain to make you feel better. A chicken salad sandwich from your local bakery. Every time. <laughs> Georgie Parker highlights. Oh. And watching Tom Hawkins kick three plus at GMHBA. This bloke's a genuine blimp. He's massive. How big is Tom? Oh, he's so big. <laughs> Wears a cubicle as a wetsuit. This is how big this man is. He didn't play on the weekend, so he should be fresh and ready to go. Three goals, a dollar seventy-two. He didn't register one last week, so it must have been a void. He wasn't there. I didn't, I didn't see him. And this guy's massive. You can't miss him. You can't. You can't miss him. So give them a headache. He's too big for North like Melbourne. He's too big. He will little boy. Five all in all the man. pink, twelve in the stink. <laughs> Aiden <laughs> Core. He could be on 40 goals by this weekend. Against him? Uh, yeah, reversed. Uh, reversed. Any other legs, Jev? Uh, no. You do. You've got I one. do. I got Brad close. So, as you said, I, I've got. you said I got 3-3. Three, three. I got 14 goals to play with. We'll give one to Grian Myers. We're going to give two to Oliver Henry, not in 100K. But so, what, I've still got 13 left. Going to go with the Brad close. I said that he's very close to being a professional forward. And I think he showed that again. He kicked another one on the weekend. 80% on his last 10. Kicked a snag at reach around. Saw it with my own eyes. Stat mate reckons this should be, again, $1.01. A he just one. kicks snags. So it's a dollar thirty. I just cannot say no to that. It's actually dollar thirty three. So it's it's even better. Five out of the last six. Big final. Big final. <laughs> <laughs> Next game, Eagles Richmond. Usually we load up on this game, but fuck, there's not too much in this game. So that's why. Yeah, these are the legs we got. Jeff, what do we got? Give me Shy Bolton for two goals at a dollar forty nine. That's great. 
We didn't have a pyramid this week, so we spoke about ca- gather around. But if the pyramid was on, Shy was in. Yes. He was in. That's, that's big. His last three weeks have been out of this world. And he had four and 18 game on the weekend. That's amazing. I've got him for two back at home at Optus Stadium. Dollar 49. Bah. I love that. I love the little news on the pyramid too. Can't wait for next week. Uh, give me Liam Baker anytime, Dust. Dollar 37. I love this leg so much. We were there. We've said, No, we weren't there at Norwood, but we saw him against... Sydney. Swans kick two in what a minute awesome dollar thirty seven just for one I almost thought about putting him for two but he's just a footballer's footballer he's had two three and one his last three obviously he had the week off because he elbowed that bloke oh that's right he'll yeah, be fresh he'll house. gobble this up just for one against the coasters dollar thirty seven thank you very much love it uh, boys welcome I appreciate it's his first time so welcome to the multi Holly Reed yes, yes. That's awesome. fifteen disposals dollar thirty we watched him with our own eyes and he was just. <laughs> Awesome. awesome. <laughs> Sorry, I think you said Bosch. No, Bosch. He was. He's averaging just over 15 touches this year. He could get suspended in any week. Plays out of the yeah. cube. He when just, he's not in the midfield. He belts so everyone. tackles. Yep. He's impressive. Physical, he's so impressive. impressive. He'll get 15 at home. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, yeah, Harley Reid, welcome to the multi. 15 touches, $1.30. That's awesome. No more legs for me. Nothing for me. I got – he gives all Tiger fans a stiffy. Tiger Tim Taranto. They absolutely love him down at Tigerland. 25 touches at $1.37. His last three times at Optus, 27, 35, 32, bash. So that is the multi, boys. It's an absolute cracker. It's just bosh and awesome. Yeah. It actually is a good multi, though. For 6 o'clock on a Tuesday night. Incredible. But can we also just very quickly say, we think we sort of touched on it, but there was so many people that, I say so many, I don't mean, I actually mean this to be, uh, sort of humble but the people that came up to us um i f- forget all their names because it's such a blur but there's a couple of guys that are on our discord that i was supposed to send a zinger to and i ended up seeing, sending him 20 he was dumplings such a nice accidentally guy. He was such so a nice guy. We, that was a great chat to him we saw so many but um saw some guys at the cast we want to mention the two younger guys at the cast i can't remember your name but you kind of one of the you're the two of the nicest kids of all time yeah and we, we should apologize they wanted us to bring back names. hook line and sinker they listen to that, hook line and sinker they'll, they'll know who I they are those guys. we just said oh geez <laughs> Absolutely but love yeah, them. Yeah, I just wanted to yeah, massive shout out to anyone that was, you know, that the we cameos said. I had to film ripping blokes' teams. It was awesome. We loved it. And if yeah, if you see us at the footy, please come say hello because we need more cameos. And <laughs> yeah, it was it was it was good. That oh, was boys, actually a serious part. There we go. So we got twenty four legs, ten dollars ninety one to win a hundred thousand, thirty four dollars and thirty five cents. Uh, beautiful. All right, here we go. So we got Tom Green for 25, Cox 25, Cadman Cheerios for one, Jesse Hogan for two. That's tick, a tick, great tick, start. tick, tick. We got Charlie Kerner for three because he's playing on Mitch Hinge, who's still hung over. <laughs> Patty Cripps for one and Carlton head to head. Why, great Jeff? Start. Because Adelaide. Cause, no, because you get kissed on the dick for a living. <laughs> yes, that's a good take. Very Darcy Byrne Jones for one. Mitch Georgiades, a great pizza with a lot for one. Rosie for one. Horn Francis for 25 and Butters for 25. This is good. Good multi. Yes. Noah Anderson for 25. Two 25. Ben King, two. Jack Ginevan for two that is also yeah, a nice so little great. multi oh. next one grand maz for one brad close for one jeremy cameron for three and hawkins for three yep. they yep. are massive awesome. and then we got tiger tim taranto for 25 harley reed 15 baker for a snag show bottom two i can't see this losing that no, is the is multi. multi this but, is the one but something that was thrown together so quickly and efficiently with so many good stats because we, we saw it with our own eyes yeah, that's right. we saw it with our own eyes this weekend no Geronimo multi this week because we need to get away from each other. Yep. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> we need a break because next Tuesday's pod is going to be that good. Yeah, electric. This, as I said, this is a good effort to get this up, but we do the work. Hey, No journal multi this week. You'll be shattered to know. I might still get one up though. I'll have a listen to the pod and I'll get <laughs> one up for Friday because people will be shattered. I, that's it for me. I'm fucked. <laughs> the Swans are on a buy this week. So no Swans prediction for me. How much does... <laughs> How much does the Cats, uh, sorry, the Blues beat the Crows by? And how many is Charlie kick on Mitchell hung over hinge? Blues win by 36, Charlie kicks seven. Does Mitch Hinge get a halftime beer for a bit of hair on the dog? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> get him an Imperial. Oh, he's a good boy. Chili! Baby back, back ribs. Ribs. Arriba. Dust, are you still recording them? Dust, can you please sing We Are The Champions? <laughs> I paid my dues <laughs> Time after time Okay, that's a bash. <laughs>